Hey everybody, welcome back to Quinn's Cones, and today, something really cool, just like usual. I just want to say thank you for watching the last video. It was a big deal having Roger on. I was so excited to get him on the show, and it finally happened, and you guys liked it, I liked it. I'm sure he'll be back again. So this week is actually going out to my friend Kendra who recommended this ice cream to me. I was always planning on doing Nestle, but I was gonna start with Smarty because that's my personal favorite as it's the only one I've really tried, so of course it's my favorite. We do have a special guest today, my little Stormtrooper friend. He doesn't have a name yet. We got him with us today. I hope, I hope he can be a recurring character on Quinn's Cones as well. So without further ado, I got my messy hair. It's kind of doing whatever today. Let's just jump right into it. Kit Kat Nestle. So wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Boom, big reveal. Kit Kat Nestle, the English side, yep. <laughs> this, very excited for this. Kit Kats, kind of a wafer cookie covered in chocolate, very good, very tasty. I can already just kind of think about what to expect and Going into this, I'm expecting the smoothie silky ice cream, but you get hit with the crunch of the wafer. And that's not something we've had on the show before, wafer. And I'm excited to see how that goes. So let's take a look at the packaging. So for the packaging, I love this. This, I love this packaging. Red, very powerful color, very strong color. A color of power, a color of just pure presence. And it's one of the most eye-catching colors, red. It's very vibrant, very nice. Got the nice Kit Kat logo, as well as a perfect scoop with some Kit Kat chunks falling into it or jumping out of it, who knows. This packaging, it, it's doing it to me, even though it's kind of simple. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Very cool. So let's just pop the top off, jump right into it and let's go. So this does actually have a like defensive lock on it almost. <laughs> You're gonna have to pop that down, boom, and then that'll grant you access to the starting area where you wanna grab and pull up. It's an easy peel, ooh, look at that. Very nice. First look does look pretty good. I do not see any, oh, there's one hiding right in there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but there is one Kit Kat chunk just barely scratching the surface. I'm sure there are more underneath. So we do have our tester bowl and our tester spoon again this week. This is a family tub, so I'm probably gonna eat the whole thing anyway, but just in case anybody wants some, I'm just gonna put it in the tester bowl so I don't contaminate it with my boy cooties. And instead of scooping it with the spoon like I was struggling to do, we're gonna use the upgrades that Roger got me last week, the scoop. So much going on in Quinn's Cone's lore and history. The birth of the scoop, birth of the out of house guest, a lot happened last week. If you haven't watched that yet, check it out. So time to just dive right into this. It's very creamy, very smooth. It's not very hard. Actually, it is a bit harder deeper down. Let's get a nice healthy scoop. It does have some chocolate as well as some vanilla. I wasn't expecting the vanilla. So without further ado, Nestle Kit Kat, first bite, let's do it. I'm gonna take a second bite as my first bite because I didn't get a Kit Kat chunk in it. <laughs> mm. So that does taste really good. It, you get the vanilla, you get the chocolate, as well as the Kit Kat wafer. The Kit Kat in this, it does taste like a regular Kit Kat. Maybe, maybe because it's mixed with the ice cream, but it does taste like one of those generic ice cream cones. Not the waffle cones, not the sugar cones, but those other ones. I forget the name. I'm a bad host. I'm a bad ice cream man. But it kind of tastes like that with, with uh, the ice cream mixed in. I'm not sure if Kit Kats were meant to be put in ice cream, because the or frozen is what I mean. I'm usually used, I'm used to them, I'm used to eating them in room temperature. They do taste good frozen, but it's not, it kind of threw me off guard there. Very good, don't get me wrong. Just kind of threw me off guard, threw me for a loop. I can see the hype, I can, I can respect the hype, I can see the hype, I can understand the hype. I'm gonna give the first bite a four out of five. In regards to texture, you get the smoothness of the ice cream, the crunch of the wafer, and the kind of hard milkiness of the chocolate. 
I'm gonna give the texture a three out of five. There aren't a lot of Kit Kat chunks. I took a pretty generous scoop, only about two Kit Kat chunks, two, three in here. Not a lot in terms of diversity per spoonful, because a lot of the spoonfuls are just ice cream. There's not a lot of Kit Kat chunkage going on. So for aftertaste, just like every other ice cream, the vanilla and the chocolate, they're good to go, they linger. What we really want to focus on though, are the Kit Kat chunks, because that's what separates this from everything else. The ice cream, dairy, phenomenal, very good. What you'd expect from Nestle. Not as good as Core the dairy though. <laughs> but the Kit Kat chunks, I still taste the chocolate and the wafer lingers. It does have a presence about a minute after my last bite that I had. It is still finding its way through my taste buds and I'm not mad. It tastes great. I'm gonna have to give the aftertaste another three out of five. I wish there was more to it. Kit Kats are good, don't get me wrong. I'm more of a mini eggs guy when it comes to chocolate. I hope you can understand. Don't, don't wanna offend anybody. I'm not sure that the aftertaste of the Kit Kat warrants a four or five out of five. So just for that, I'm gonna have to stick with the aftertaste. I'm gonna have to give it a three out of five. So in terms of wow factor, I think that this ice cream deserves, oh wait, I think this ice cream deserves, might be controversial, maybe triggering. So, you've been warned. A two out of five. I, it's not that I was expecting the best thing ever, because this is my logic. You have, you have companies, Nestle, Kawartha Dairy, Chapman's, Klondike. You have some of those that you have some of those that specialize strictly in dairy, in the dairy industry, in the frozen goods. Those are your Kawartha Dairies, your Chapman's. Things like Nestle, they're trying to juggle multiple balls all at once. Chocolate bars, water, ice cream. <laughs> they're trying to do it all. If it's like a video game and you put skill points into different skills, they're specking out three different things, kind of a little bit, instead of specking out ice cream fully, if you, if you know what I mean. I almost knocked over my friend here. I think that that is the reason this wasn't as good as it could have been. The wow factor is the two out of five because Nestle's not focusing on their ice cream strictly by itself because they're trying to do so many different things. They got so many things on the burner right now too many cooks in the kitchen. For that reason, I think that this does have more potential to be better. Don't get me wrong, it's still really good. I'd buy this again, definitely. But for wow factor, it's gotta be the two out of five. It just, my fancy is has been left untickled. And <laughs> it's, it's still really good. But I was just hoping my fancy would get some loving today. So the word to describe Nestle Kit Kat ice cream would probably be spontaneous. You get the scoop, <laughs> this is low key a roast. <laughs> you get the scoop of ice cream and you eat it, it's just ice cream. You get another scoop, just strictly dairy. You get another scoop, more ice cream. Then you get another scoop. Oh, there's a Kit Kat chunk in there. It spontaneously shows up, it's spontaneous. All of a sudden, out of the blue, it just pops out of nowhere because they're so rare in this ice cream that you just don't get them as often as you'd like. You get plain scoops of strictly ice cream more often. So I'd say spontaneous because those little, those little buggers sneak up on you from behind when you're not looking because you kind of forget they're there because there aren't many in there. So overall, Kit Kat Nestle ice cream, pretty good. I still think I like the Smarty one better. The Smarty one made an appearance in my DIY ice cream sandwich video. I have a, another idea for a DIY type thing later, which I'll get to in a few weeks. But I did have the Smarty one in that. I'll do a Smarty review separately as well at some point. But just from, from where I am in my life right now, I still think the Smarty one's better. This one is still very good. I'm pointing out, I should bring it on the screen. The Kit Kat ice cream is still very good. It's just not as good as the Smarty one, in my opinion. Be sure to hit the like button because it does help the channel out and I like to see the number go up. <laughs> I'll admit, I'm guilty. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. This has been another episode. Take care, stay safe. Thanks for stopping by, have a great day.
Yeah!